Good morning, students. Let's continue with our diagrammatic presentation. Today, on focus will be our next diagram, that is, following the multiple bar diagram, we are going to present today the component bar diagram as a part of diagrammatic presentation. It is also called as subdivided bar diagram. So, subdivided bar diagram, component diagram, uh, different way to express one type of diagram. Am I clear? Now, for you all, the table is given to you. Uh, three years are given, 17, 18, 19, of a particular school wherein there are three different streams, commerce, science, and humanities, right? And for commerce, science, humanities, the total is also given for each year, number of students. So, 1,200 is the total. 15 is total for second year, and the third year, the total is 1,600, 1,600. Clear? Now, the same thing we are going to do it diagrammatically. On y-axis, I have taken the number of students and on an x-axis, I have taken the years for uh, consideration. So, let's go with the first year. I am straight away making the total first for the year 17, uh, 2017. That is total is 1200. So, once I draw it, the rectangle, I will move on to the next step as such. So, what I am doing to avoid uh, inconvenience, I have drawn the total first. You can also do the total first and then proceed further. All right. So, 600 is for commerce. Right. I am drawing these lines to represent the commerce one. All right. Thereafter, 400 is represented by signs. Be careful. 600 plus 400. So, 600 plus 400 makes it 1000. So, this is my sign segment representation clear and the remaining one the upper portion is representing the the humanities one am i clear the circles are represented by humanities as such in red a little bit dim but try to make it up as it's possible so that completes our first year that is 2017 now let's move on to 2018 students clear now for 2018 what i'm going to take is first the total what is the total here 1500 so let's make it up the total is 1500 and then make it further as required clear so 1500 this is your grand total confirm it 1500 the total clear and now find out the other things to follow number one 800 is the commerce one represented by this blue one so i'll draw the blue lines as such representing the commerce one that makes us immediately compare that in the current year your commerce students are more in comparison to the last year if you just check to the left isn't it come to the next one students the the science one they are 400 so 800 plus 400 makes it 1200 i'll draw it somewhere here so that will be my science students the size of the rectangle tell me tells me that both are identical no change in the strength of the science students and represented on the upper half are humanities students total being 1500 as such let's come to the last one last year that is 1600 so i'll draw it accordingly the rectangle which will facilitate the total of 1600 and one by one i'll take the values First and foremost, 700 is commerce. So, there's a little bit of dip in the number of commerce students. Here, you can also use different colors or shades to present such type of diagrams. Right? Thereafter, it is science students. 700 plus 6 makes it 1300. So, there is a comparative jump as such with regard to the the science students, which I'll portray accordingly. Right? 1300 will come somewhere here. And that is quite a bigger rectangle, which depicts the increase in the number of science students. And the last but not the least is my humanities one. As such, which is represented by circle. Right? Now, so what is the utility of component bar diagram students? Remember in Multiple bar diagrams, import and exports were taken where the total is irrelevant. Here, the total might be relevant. So, if some 
part of difference is asked of you, you better make the point clear. When the total of variables are relevant, then component bar diagram is the better option rather than the other one. Am I clear? Now, let me just also present with the on the through the index little bit of uh, squares representing right representing the three streams as such as you have used so blue lines for this one which one for commerce or science it is the crosses and circles we have taken as far as humanities is concerned. I hope all of you are understanding it. So that is students the component bar diagram. Am I clear with? Thank you.